That cry was terrible. Someone was frightened more than me. Wish you were here. So do I. Next evening, I had an even worse shock. There was the tree, standing as if nothing had happened. <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> Uncle? Yes, Tom? Could a tree be blown down to the ground at one time, and then the next time you see it, be standing up? Not unless we put the clock back. What clock? Well, any clock. It's just a saying. Put the clock back. Oh. It means to have the past again. No one can have that. Time moves on, inevitably. What is time like? Such odd questions. Tom, Uncle Alan is tired after his work. No, no, Grant, a child's question should be answered. Sadly, Tom's lack connection. And serious intent, too. And look at his first question. What was that? On a person going through a door? But isn't that quite sensible? I mean, aren't people always going through doors? Not when the door is shut, Aunt. Well, no. Then again, Tom asked about the possibility of being invisible. Sometimes in fairy stories. No. Now we have this query about a tree on the ground one minute and standing up the next. It's against all the known laws of nature, Tom. It was a dream, wasn't it, Tom? No, it was real. Indeed. So this, this tree really existed, hmm? This extraordinary incident really happened. Well, tell us where, Tom, and when. Where and when, Tom? It was a fairy tree. No! It really happened. This extraordinary incident. Lightning struck it in a storm. Well, well. It's to do with time, Uncle. So it is. <sighs> now, I'm going to make a cup of tea. And Tom is going to finish his letter to Peter. I nearly gave the game away. What if I told them about the garden? They'd have insisted on coming with me next time I went. Are you all right, Tom? You've gone quite cold. Too much speculation with the unknown. I do hope it's not measles. You'd have to stay on here and I know you're longing to leave. You don't want to leave. I thought you couldn't wait for the days to go by. I'm sure it's measles. I feel very hot. It's so hard to see. No, quite normal. Goodness, you look quite disappointed, dear. Well, I like it here. Oh, Tom. I can't tell her it's the garden. Oh, do wait! <laughs> you juggins, silly little juggins. She couldn't help falling over. What will Aunt say? You should look where you're going, child. <laughs> I'm off. Do you see my cousins? 
He didn't come as far nor this, Miss Hattie. He playing cards with you again? It's the only game they will play with me. Ask they let you do the running for once. They do the catching. I can't run fast enough. They give you a star? They did. They'd never find me. I can hide better than them. I know secret places. Yeah, no. I see everyone. Nobody sees me. Nobody sees me. Nobody sees me. up that James couldn't see me. I'd like to get to know him. He's older than me, but he seems a very decent sort of chap. Not like Edgar, who's beastly to Hattie. Hubert's too old, of course. But they're waking up things in the garden. I can't wait till tonight. Spying. Hattie's spying again. May I have an apple, please? Well, you'll tell, eh? No. Spy and telltale. She means no harm. Don't leave the core on the lawn, Hattie, like you did last time. I won't. <coughs> what is it, Pincher? <coughs> Where did you do that, Hattie? My tongue was hot. It wanted fresh air. Gosh, that was quick off the mark. But she can see me. It was a pert and lying answer, Hattie. Let her be, Edgar. Where's Hattie? I've gone off somewhere. Susan was dusting in the room and you waved from the top of the tree. I saw you go right through the orchard door. Gosh. Oh, yes, I've seen you often and often. Those were your footprints. I knew someone was behind Susan. I'm Tom Long. It's a very short name. And you're Hattie. Hattie something. Princess Hattie, if you please. A princess? I am. <laughs> Hey, you mustn't leave the apple lying about. Butterfingers. I may be something, but you're nothing. You may kiss my hand, Mr. Nothing. No, thanks. Listen, if you're a princess, then your father and mother must be king and queen. So where's their kingdom? Where are they? I'm not allowed to say. Why not? I'm a prisoner here. I'm in disguise. There's somebody here who calls herself my aunt. But she isn't. She's wicked and cruel to me. And those boys aren't my cousins. I have to call them so. Now you know my secret, you may kiss my hand. Please yourself. But I'll be kind and allow you to stay here and play. I don't mind playing, but not silly girls' games. Come with me and I'll show you where I hide.
letter here. Why, did you find one? I did. A letter to fairies. Oh, I wonder who put it there. <laughs> you don't look like a princess now. Every sandwich he eats. Gosh, it's hot. That's a castor oil plant. Yeah. This is a sensitive plant. Look. Gosh, it can even feel me. Every pane makes a different garden. You can't see anything through this one. I like it best of all. You look and see nothing, just as if there were no garden at all. But all the time it's waiting. I don't know what you mean. The garden waits all day until night. For me. A burning bush. Why? Because if you put a match to it on Midsummer Eve, all burns up. Have you tried? <laughs> Tom, would it be there if I had? <laughs> Boom! Hattie, what are you up to? Nothing. You've been talking and smiling all by yourself. Not by myself. I'm talking to a friend of mine. Friend? Where? On that chair, of course. <laughs> There's no one there. You're going queer in the head. No. Fairies, woman, and invisible friends the next. Tom, did it hurt? No. It sort of tickled. Then I'll tell the others and they'll laugh too. Aunt Grace will say it proves how unfit I am to mix with other children. Why did you tell them about me? I must always tell the truth, Tom. But you... Funny when you got into that wheelbarrow. <laughs> yes. Abel is from a very sad family. Oh? His brother tried to kill him. Gosh. His blood was all over the field, smoking. Half a mo. Was the brother's name Cain? There's a story about a Cain and Abel in the Bible, and Cain really did kill Abel. Well? How can this Abel be anything to do with that story? Susan told me, and she's Abel's sweetheart. I think you tell Fib. How dare you! All right, go and ask Abel now about his brother Kane. I shall never tell you any more secrets. Oh, Hattie, come back. Please come back. She didn't go to Abel, so it was just a story. And I'm sure she isn't a princess. Though the garden is like a sort of kingdom for her. She loves it like I do. I wait all day for the night to come. As soon as Hattie can find some more planks, we're going to build a tree house. Meanwhile, I'm going to show her how to make a bow and some arrows. The boys had them once, she says. Why not cut away from yourself, Hattie? It's safer. Bend it. It's no good. I'll have to ask Abel.
You did this yourself, Miss Hattie? Yes, Abel. Who taught you, then? Someone. Oh. Whoever it was, you make sure he don't teach you trouble with it. Trouble, Abel? Trouble for yourself, Miss Hattie. Them, Hattie. I am aiming. Where? At the sky. Did anybody see? I saw Miss Hattie and heard. Thank you, Abel. Aunt won't even know. Nope. She won't, Miss Hattie. Do you remember what I told you? About being taught trouble. I love the river. You should see it further down. The boys bathe there in pools. Do you? No. How do you know about it then? They told me. It gets bigger and bigger as it flows to Castleford and then Ely. Goes right to the sea. All rivers flow to the sea. I wish I could jump in and go to the sea. You could catch a boat and go I to... couldn't! I'm not really allowed here because of the river. I might get muddy or wet or even drowned, Aunt says. That would be very troublesome for everyone. I must get back if aren't you. That I don't know, ma'am. Best keep quiet. I'll hard them off. Don't want to excite them, like. Get them off. Oh, man. My lettuces, my seedlings. Abel, how did the wretched things get in here? Well, ma'am. Through a gap in the hedge. Seems like that's it, ma'am. The how they made it, I don't know. They didn't. Hattie did. Harriet! Come here. Harriet Melbourne, you were to blame. You for all this devastation to my garden, you were to blame. A charity child, a pauper. I was mad to take you into my home. Only the claims of blood induced me to take such a step, to take such mistaken pity upon you. You cruel thing. And this is how you repay me. Ungrateful, disobedient child. A shame and expense to me. A liar, a criminal. 
monster. You will doesn't Hattie's home. mother know? Why doesn't her father take her away? How can they leave her here? Please make her stop. Don't cry. Please don't cry. Oh, you can hear me. What are you crying for? My mother and my father. Oh, I see. They're dead. I'm sorry. Don't cry. Hattie? 